So it starts off with a bunch of criminals going after bro right here who made the mistake of taking the subway and minding his own business. This is Gotham, the corner store cashiers have to work behind vibranium walls for their own safety. But this wasn't just your typical horrific Gotham crime, this was an initiation. Come on Junior, this one's all yours. Yeah Junior, show him what happens when you innocently try to take the train home. Yeah, show Jackie Chan what's up. What? That's gotta be racist, there's no way. But the lights was too bright, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, look at Junior's face, he don't got it in him, he's light skinned. And that's not even a diss, I am too, I would've been that whole like, nah, nah, I dead off like 7 grandmas before breakfast, I gotta leave some for the rest of y'all, this all yours. While they're playing hot potato on who gets to kill this man, a noise starts coming from the darkness, it's footsteps, and they stupidly haven't started running yet, do they not know whose hood they're in? If I'm hearing these noises and I know I so much that Jay walked with my homies, this finna be me, eating immaculately. I need my legs and arms. But this guy right here, let's call him Gary. Gary starts foolishly walking towards the darkness and that's when we get to see the Batman. Batman's standing there mean mugging them while Gary and the rest of his squad isn't taking Bruce serious at all. Look at this guy. But as Batman walks closer, Junior isn't laughing at all. I don't got health insurance, ain't shit funny right now. Gary tried to hit Batman and bro, it took him 6 seconds to knock this man to the ground. It all happened so fast. Within that barrage, he hit this man with a right and then backfisted to him all in the same motion. Batman stands over him and delivers two more for good luck. Ayo hey, Gary, you good bro? Get up! No. If these goons were smart, they would've already left and started googling new wheelchairs for Gary, but for some reason they thought they stood a chance, started circling Batman like a pack of hyenas, clearly not aware of the fact that they're the prey. As we can see here, Batman is all offense and no defense because he's for whatever reason just deciding to tank these hits. Batman must just not respect his opponents enough to block because we know if this was Bane with his fist being the size of Rihanna's fat ass head, Bruce would be in that bitch moving like he got ultra instinct, can't get hit by those. Batman rocks bro starts choking him into a nasty elbow while Junior shaking back there like it's negative 50 degrees. It's time for a different career path, put the gun down and pick up a textbook my nigga. Junior even goes as far as to pull a Kevin Durant, no I'm not talking about him rejecting lotion. He straight up just switches teams, peeps his homie up the blick and tries to stop him from shooting Batman. But it'll not matter because Batman planned for this, what do you expect from the same man who has a game plan on how to kill all his teammates if they ever become evil? Damn I'm so angry right now. How angry? I don't know nigga, like a regular reasonable amount? Oh I. Batman eats one, weave, and then starts zapping this man in the neck until his body just drops. At this point it's pretty obvious to the criminals that this man has trained in the ancient arts of whip ass, so they get up and skedaddle away, even Junior had to dip up out of there. I haven't seen a room be cleared this fast since Lizzo started twerking at that Lakers game. Later on in the movie, Batman is doing detective work to try to decode the Riddler, who's been talking crazy on FaceTime the entire week. So he shows up to the function to try to get answers from the Penguin, but the bouncer to the club is giving him the Heisman stiff arm, not letting him in. Let me in. Bro, what you wearing? Let me in. Hot Topic's down the street, you weirdo. But Batman wasn't just gonna take no for an answer, so the bouncer goes to get his big bro to try to scare Bruce off. What's the issue? He talking about he trying to get let in, twin? Yeah, that ain't happening. You finna scare the hoes. Yeah, so you better just get out of here, you freak, and crawl back to wherever you came from before we have to get some blood on that suit. Mine or yours. It took Batman three hits to knock their asses out and look at the walk in, he and this bitch like he owned the place. Even went as far as to go up to the DJ and smack that nigga, gave him a CD and said play this instead. Upon entering, he hits bro right here with a two-piece, knocking him into his homie and kicking them both down the stairs. Batman already know that Alfred got him right with this indestructible ass suit, so he gets grabbed and just tanks these two punches, but bro from behind tries to bend him over the railing. That was real gay, my nigga! This man could have learned fighting styles like Kung Fu from Master Shifu or Karate from Mr. Miyagi or boxing from Mike Tyson, but instead decided to pick up fighting techniques from James Charles. Batman elbows him, smacks his friend, throws bro over the railing into a left hook. And this is how you know this version of Batman was really on bad timing, there's no one around him, he came here to look for Penguin, even in a crowd of people hitting the All Might, there's still no security anymore, he could easily continue walking and go find the Penguin, he's built like Mr. Potato Head, that's an easy search. But nah, forget that, he decides to jump down to where he was throwing and kicking them down to to go get some more licks in. 
but this gotta be the worst security team of all time. This is Gotham. If you leave the crib to go get some groceries and come back with only 14 stab wounds, that was a successful trip. Y'all gotta have something better in your arsenal than a baseball bat, especially considering Batman be on the loose and we in here doing villainry. I'ma have a fucking rocket launcher under my desk. Batman blocks, grabs the bat, and hits him in the gut then forehead. Gets hit in the back so he turns around and hits bro in the arm with it. Got him hitting the Vegeta already, I know his arm is broken. And as if that wasn't enough, I don't know where Bruce learned this from because his pops for sure ain't teach him this clean batting form. And look at him, standing over his ops, getting ready to bash them in some more. Bro, I'ma say it again, he came here to find the penguin. He has not even been looking or asking any questions, it's just straight been ass beatings. Finally, someone has some sense to go and grab a gun, but bro, he grabbed the smallest pistol he could possibly find. What is this smurf blaster about to do to Batman? What's the name of this song? It's kinda tough. Batman looking at bro like, Is this nigga serious? And being the elite gatekeeper that he is, throws the bat at bro's cranium, getting shot in the back, and it was by a shotgun. Listen, hey, I wasn't familiar with their game. They had something stronger than a baseball bat on deck. The only problem is Batman's just too fucking OP. Y'all just gonna have to turn to Jesus or something. I'm out of ideas, man. Batman takes out his grappling hook and shoots bro in the kneecap with it. Turns around and is ready to fight some more, but it's who he came here for. The Penguin. Whoa, take it easy. I heard you were looking for me. But listen though, if I help you, can you put in a good word with Wonder Woman for me? So Batman and Penguin talk for a little bit, and Penguin is able to help Bruce with some information to try to figure out what the Riddler is trying to do. Bruce also held up his promise trying to put Lil Bro onto Wonder Woman, but she wasn't jacking it. This all leads to Batman figuring out that Riddler got his goons at the stadium and plans to blow up Gotham in order to flood it. So while the snipers are camped up up top, Batman blows through the roof landing behind them and he thinks he's slick. This scene is ripped straight from the Batman Begins poster. And since Batman doesn't use guns, he has to shoot them with his grappling hooks, rolling off the edge, pulling them off, and then landing back. Not only is Batman bulletproof, but the Riddler also made it easier on him by strictly recruiting blind niggas because not a single one could even land a shot on this man. This is embarrassing. But fighting the disabled is not a problem for Bruce. I've seen this man straight deck somebody grandma. 85% of his rogue gallery is mentally ill. This is free eats for him as he elbows bro and has him snipe his own teammate as he falls off and starts hitting the Spongebob. Notice that all the goons are attached by a harness, but Batman just up there straight tightrope in this hoe. Batman rocks him, eats a shot, and then throws him into a wall. For some reason, all these boys got snipers but really want to fight close range. They think they could quickscope in real life. Batman hits a spin, kicks it away, and just throws him off the railing to also go hit the Spongebob down there, hanging off his harness and jacket. Another one walks up on Batman and starts shooting and manages to land a shot, but all Batman did was hit the Lil Uzi shoulder roll and bro ran out of ammo. <laughs> I'm in danger! getting tackled off the railing as Batman swings himself into a bowling ball. But he was one pin away from the strike, so he gets up and hits bro with the left and then a kick to the chest for good luck. However, two shadow clones came up from behind Bruce and caught him lacking, grabbing him, throwing him on the ground and dragging him by his cape. This is embarrassing, the Justice League never gonna let him live this down. Not gonna lie, we saw the ops mopping the floor with your cape, bro. I know your ass not talking. This you? Green Lantern's got this! Bruce trips one, kicks another, looks to his right, looks to his left, and realizes that he's trapped between Dummy and Doofus. Cause they shoot each other and the chain that was holding everybody up as they all go rolling down but Batman of course is able to hold on. While Batman's hitting the opposite of Black Widow, three more clones come over and start shooting at him. Batman whips out a smoke bomb and they were already missing before so now it's really about to just be straight air balls. If I was them, I would've started blowing as hard as possible. We all played the Arkham games, we know what's coming next. Batman tackles him and slaps the next guy with his own gun. Also beats the third guy with the same gun too. Bruce also takes a page straight out of Zoom's book, grabbing the bullet and knocking his ass out too. The goons at this point are terrified. They realize that this man has 13 superpowers and can't be defeated. Wait till they realize he's just a regular guy in a bad suit. Bro is horrified, but manages to grab the double barrel shotgun and blast Bruce off the roof. Walks over to him while he's hanging off the railing and puts the blicky to his head, but out of nowhere, one of Batman's favorite eaters, Catwoman, comes out of nowhere to save the day. My boy Bruce is really allergic to dating normal women. They strictly have to have over 26 felonies. 
She manages to pull him up, saving his life, and gives him a kiss. But now it's not the time. Gotham is on the brink of being turned into the bikini bottom. The thing is though, the ops was saying, he said I need me some of that too, grabbing her and starts wrestling her while she's on the ground. Bruce is so weak he's not able to move, stand up, or do anything to help her, so he does what he needs to do and injects himself with some of that super soldier steroids. Look at the way his eyes is rolling in the back of his head, I know that adrenaline feels good as hell if it got him reacting like he receiving the mouth vacuum 3000. Batman gets up and grabs a rope, got him in midair hitting the Patrick Star, slamming him onto the ground and just starts pounding him crazy. False. It was so wild even the cops had to come over like, hey bro chill, you ODing right now. And that interference almost costed them their lives, he upped the fist on them too.